In the days when God used judges to lead Israel, famine was widespread across the land. There was hardly any food to eat, nor water to drink. People were starving, and many families decided to move away in hope of a better life. One such family was that of a man named Elimelech, who took his wife Naomi and their two sons to the land of Moab. They were certain that they could make a better life there and were excited with the prospect of starting a new chapter. Once they got there, tragedy struck. The father of the family, Elimelech, died. His two sons took Moabite wives named Ruth and Orpah and lived there for ten years. Then more disaster struck when they also died. This was devastating. Who was going to provide for them or protect them? Naomi, Ruth, and Orpah were left to fend for themselves. Naomi decided to go back to Israel, to the land she knew so well, to the people she understood, a language she knew, and a community who would accept her in her grief. She wanted her daughters, Ruth and Orpah, to stay in their land and start new families, but Ruth resisted. No, I will go wherever you go. I want to be part of your people. I want to worship your God as well. So Ruth and Naomi began their journey to the land of Israel. After a long journey, they arrived in Bethlehem, Naomi's hometown. The entire town came out to welcome her back. They were so surprised to see Naomi after more than ten years, but they were also struck by how old and sad she seemed. Naomi, is that you? they asked with excitement. But Naomi did not share their excitement. Call me bitter, not Naomi. I have had a bitter experience, she said. Naomi and Ruth had arrived at harvest time, and the people were busy gathering grain. Naomi and Ruth had no sons or husbands or wealth. They desperately needed food. Naomi was too old to gather grain, so Ruth happily went out to see what she could find. She ended up gathering the leftover scraps in a field that belonged to a man named Boaz. This man was very rich and famous, and everyone knew of his noble character. He was kind to everyone, and he loved God. As Ruth gathered grain, everyone seemed to notice her. After all, she was from a different culture. She had different clothes and a different language. Boaz saw how hard she worked. He asked one of his managers, Who is this girl who has been reaping in my field? Ah, that's Ruth, the daughter-in-law of Naomi, he replied. So Boaz was very kind to Ruth and made sure that everyone respected her and let her gather all the grain she needed. In fact, he even let her eat with his servants. When Ruth came home after a hard day's work, she told Naomi all about the kind man named Boaz and how he took special interest in her. Naomi remembered that Boaz was a relative to her dead husband, Elimelech. Now, it was tradition in those days for the closest relative of the family to help in time of need. Naomi saw this as a great opportunity for Boaz to be the family rescuer, or kinsman redeemer, as they called it. She told Ruth that she must continue gleaning from his field. After all, he had been so kind, why go anywhere else? Day after day, Ruth gathered in his field. Boaz offered her protection, food, and kindness. Day after day, they grew to enjoy being near one another. Naomi was hoping this would happen. Boaz admired Ruth. Ruth admired Boaz. So Naomi came up with a plan. She told Ruth, Late at night, I want you to go and wake up Boaz. It's time for you to let him know that you want him to marry you. You want his protection, his security, and his love. And that's exactly what Ruth did. Late one night, she came to Boaz as he slept outdoors on the threshing floor. I am Ruth, your servant. Please protect me. And Boaz did. But there was just one problem. 
There was another relative of Elimelech that was closer in relation than Boaz. It was technically his responsibility to care for Naomi and Ruth and provide for her a son. So Boaz, being the gentleman that he was, had a town meeting and invited the man. He presented the opportunity to him, and to Boaz's delight, the man refused. Finally, Ruth and Boaz could get married. Soon, they had a baby boy, bringing great joy to both of them and to Naomi, who got to help raise him. Naomi, the old woman who had experienced so much sorrow, was now filled with new vibrancy and joy. This son would not only become the grandfather of Israel's great King David, but Jesus would be one of his descendants.